bag for a gun is a risk of little bits of wood. I'm sanding them to give it a bit of texture. So that's just basically making little bricks, make a load of those up. Alright, so we've added loads of blocks for the wall and stuff. So, what we're going to do now is spray it over with black spray. going over with black spray just going to change it a little bit right for this one what we've done basically you look at it's just basically a box without the bottom so I've pinned four sides together and the top and Cut the top off. If you look on the sides and things, I've just pinned some wood on and sanded it round. Yeah. Then the top is cut off as one. So what you do, you build the box with one bottom and then just run it through the saw. So you have the top there. Skulls on the top, that's just air glide clay <laughs> um, left to dry off and then you stick it down and what I've done, if you have a look, is to add texture, what I do is either dab PVA or use a bit of grout on a cloth and then just wipe it all over, that gives it like a texture of rock. Now, once you've done that, I do a base coat. Now you can see from this one, I've done sort of viney bits coming up. So we're going to try and paint those in green a bit. You see on the top there. So what now we're going to add, as we've done our base coat, is uh, we're going to add some paint. So it's just a grey paint to start with. Um, just a grey acrylic. This is a bit smaller than this one, so it only took five minutes. But the idea is, I have it like that. It's sort of made to a sort of UBT, I'm thinking. But I think this might um, be good for for fossil um, for fossil tarantulas. Um, maybe something good to put over a, a pet hole and then build around it, make it something a little bit more interesting than just a hole. But now we're just going to add some paint um, and then we'll get into the next bit. idea that's like small blocks of wood sanded the same way and painted just to give it that sort of effect I like doing these little ones because it gives a uh, gives me ideas for the bigger ones so what we're thinking is tombstone back like that which will give it a nice little look so what we're going to do now, we're going to add a bit of green, um, fake plants and etc. Um, and then just finish it off.
we go. Simple little setup. I think that's quite funky. Plus it give me an idea for bigger builds. Yeah, for an OBT once it's webbed it up a bit and make it look a bit cooler, which I've got a little OBT to go in here. Hi guys, wait, thank you for watching. As you saw on the video as well, there was a short little ad for the Halloween competition that's coming up on Exotic Pets Enclosure Design. All details will be coming shortly, but this is the big one for the group. The massive is massive. We loved it last year. This year's gonna be even bigger. So for all details, um, Adam Connolly, the invertebrarian, will be um, releasing a promo vid as soon as we're ready to go live on the competition so watch out for that one um apart from that thank you very much for watching please like subscribe comment down below i love the comments read every single one and most importantly hit that dee -dee 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 subscribe bell thank you very much guys um until next time on the pandemic build we're just going to finish that one off get it off on auction until then See you later.